Hey folks, in the previous session we have touched upon what exactly the stop words and we have also touched upon what exactly the way just to remove the stop words if you have in your data. That's what we have typically done. So in this session our problem statement is all about let's try to create some more feature or let's try to touch upon our some more ways of extracting the feature often known as featureization. So in this session we will try to create a feature known as common word count. And the second one is all about common word count max. The first one is my common word count min, which is this one. So let's try to touch upon what exactly this feature stands for. So imagine I have two sentences. Let's say sentence one is all about, let's say I love AI. This is a sentence one. On the other hand, our sentence two says, hey, I love AI. Along with that, I also love machine learning and let's say statistics. Let's say these all things is typically belong to our sentence too. Now let's try to touch upon what exactly this common word count minimum and how to compute the common word count minimum value with respect to any sentence you have. So it is typically about nothing but a ratio of common word count. It is typically a ratio of common word count to the minimum of length of S1 or S1 words it means we have to consider that sentence in which we have minimum number of words comma length of s2 words length of s2 words that's all that's basically a layman explanation of our the very first metric so in this case as we have i love ai is a is a common is a common substring over here then i can say its count is typically 3 so i will say 3 by minimum of its count is 3 so I will say minimum of 3 comma and here we have basically 6 so I will say minimum of 3 comma 6 in such case I will end up getting a value as 0. 0.5 which is basically our common word count maximum on the other hand if I will say again it is basically 3 so let me remove this so it is basically 3 by 3 that goes 1 on the other hand if I will compute our common word count maximum which is all about nothing but a common word count i will notify it as cwc to the maximum of s1 words it means length of s1 words comma length of s2 words in such case you will end up getting 3 it gets divided by a maximum of 3 comma 6 in this case you will end up getting a final value as 0.5 that's a baby difference between both the matrix that we have. So let's try to touch upon both the matrix and let's try to code up all the stuff, of course, using Python. So first and foremost, let's try to understand what exactly is pseudocode. Again, if you can understand the pseudocode, writing a Python executable code is just a piece of cake for us. So let's try to understand first and foremost its pseudocode. So first and foremost, we will say whatever, whatever string or whatever sentence we have, just convert this. Let's try to say this is S1. Let's convert this into a list, let's say L1, which doesn't have any stop words. Make sure this list doesn't have any stop words. Similarly, let's try to convert our string 2 or sentence 2 into, let's say, L2 list. Make sure it doesn't have any stop words. Now, now we have S1 and S2. What I need to do is I need to find some common elements. So I can think of converting this, this list, which is all about L1 into some set. It is typically L2. So I can think of calling a set on top of this. Let's say I have some set. Let's say capital or let's say capital S dash one. Similarly, let's this time capital S dash two. Now, as we have all the data in form of set, hence finding a intersection is just a piece of cake for us because we have to find the common elements or we have to find the common data in s1 dash and s1 s2 dash so i can think of calling intersection considering our s1 dash and s2 dash the moment i have this intersection then i can think of computing the total elements in this intersection which is typically of set which is basically my cwc which is all about common word count then i can think of dividing this by Nothing but a minimum, which is all about minimum of length of L1, 
length of l1 comma length of l2 that's basically our that's basically our common word count minimum on the other hand if i will talk with respect to common word count maximum here we have to just mention maximum that's it again if you are able to understand the pseudo code writing a python code is it's quite straightforward again for those of you if you are unable to understand all this pseudo code please feel free to share your doubts with us via q a in the previous session of course we have touched upon how to remove the stop words with respect to some data or with respect to some string so what i have done is what i have done is let's i touch upon let's say this one let's say this one let me store in let's say l1 let me execute and let's i touch upon our question 2 this time i will say it is question 2 let me execute now the similar logic the similar logic will goes over here i have to just do some modification and this is basically our l2 let me execute and let's say this is our l2 now first and foremost if i will convert our l1 into set using our inbuilt set let's try to convert it this is typically our set data structure similarly if i will say set of l2 let me execute this is our set now if i will say if i will say let me store both the set let's say in s1 execute and let's say in s2 cool let me execute and if i will say s1 and s2 the moment i will do this you will end up getting the intersection of both the set that you have now what you can do is you can think of you can think of nothing but computing its length i will say what is the length of s1 and s2 which is all about intersection now you will end up getting a length is 5 now here comes uh, our min function i will say what is the minimum value of nothing but minimum of l1 comma comma what is the length of l2 let me execute this is what you are getting so just to compute the common which is all about the very first metric which is nothing but common word count minimum what you can do is you can just think of dividing this stuff which is which is nothing but our numerator this is basically our denominator i will say this is all about this let me execute now you will end up getting a value as 5 by 6 or you can say 0 0.83 similarly if i will say if i will say the moment i say max of this you will end up getting a value as 7 and if i will say length of this so this is basically our common word count maximum which is typically our second metric that we have to consider it means this is a value which is nothing but our cwc minimum which is common word count minimum this is a value which is all about common word count maximum again this is a value that we have obtained with respect to zero the index zero the index with respect to our question one and question two feature but as over here we have 10k data points so just to write the similar code for all the observation makes no sense hence defining a custom function makes a lot of sense over here so let's try to define a custom function in such scenarios so i will say function name is all about let's say common underscore word underscore let's say count underscore let's say minimum and let's say whatever q1 and q2 i will pass to it it will perform some operation cool now whatever q1 i have i will say just convert this into a list considering our split let's store it so i will say let's say q1 underscore underscore image and tokens image and tokens we have to do the similar stuff considering our q2 we will say this is all about q2 and this is all about q2 cool now here comes an interesting part now we have to remove the the stop words if we have data considering this one logic what i have shown you cool let me paste and let's try to customize this entire logic that we have so we will say we will say it is nothing but let's try to replace it let's try to replace it with this and this is the way how you can find this is the way how you can find list in which you do not have any stop words similar stuff you have to do with respect to q2 underscore tokens which is typically your list let me store it in l2 now i have to call set on top of our on top of our l1 let's try to store it in s1 
and let's try to do the similar stuff but with respect to l2 list and let's try to store it in s2 cool now we need to do what we need to do is we need to call a uh, intersection so i can think of calling nothing but this s1 intersection s2 i'll say cool let's try to call the intersection let me store this set or intersection set let's in common which is nothing but in this case we have this one now now we have to put a condition over here again Imagine, image, imagine we have a scenario as let's say common word count is let's say let's say seven, and let's say minimum of let's say eleven comma zero. Imagine in one of the question, in one of the question which is unavailable in the data, which is typically often known as missing value. So you might have a value as zero in such case. In such case, you will get a seven by zero. So in such case, you might end up getting an error, which is nothing but division by zero error. So just to get rid of this, you can think of using a concept often known as exception handling. You can think of a concept often known as exception handling. Again, you can just implement this exception handling using a try except block. So in, in the try, we have, we have all the normal code that you want to execute. And if any exception comes, we will try to write that exception or we will try to define a code for that exception in our accept block. That's what we will typically do. So we will say length of length of common gets divided by minimum of length of L1 comma length of L2. Cool. But what if, but what if this will return an exception? So in such case, I can think of writing this line of code in our try block. And whenever some exception come, I can think of using our accept block. In such case, in such case, let's try to store this value. Let's say in ratio. Cool. And let me return that ratio. So we will say return ratio. But what if we have any exception? So in such case, I will say, hey, just return zero. Just return zero. Let me execute this line of code. And let's try to define one more function, which is nothing but our common word count underscore maximum. Here, I can think of calling a max on top of this. That's it. So if I will say common underscore, you can just press tab. And this is a function name, what you're getting. Let's select this and let me pass some data. Let's say this one and let's say question two of zero. Let me execute. You will end up getting such value. Let's try to cross check this function with respect to our CWC underscore max. Let me execute. This is a value that you will end up getting. So look at the power of the function that you have. So that's all about this session. In the upcoming session, what we will do is first and foremost, we will try to apply this function on top of our data frame so that we will end up getting two new feature. And along with that, we will try to touch upon some more real world problem statement. So that's all about it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Keep learning, keep growing, keep practicing.